Hello, welcome back to Hostify, my name's Alex, and today we're gonna to look at how to block a website using Unify Network. Now for this kind of setup, what you'll need is either a UXG or a Unify Dream Machine or Cloud Gateway. For this video, what I'm gonna use is a UXG Pro that's connected to my Hostify Unify controller. Uh, it's running 9.5 and the firmware on the UXG is running 4.3. However, this will work perfectly fine if you're not using Hostify or using a UXG. It is worth bearing in mind that if you're using USG, this will not work at all because they are now end of life. Before we jump into it, if you need reliable, fast cloud hosting for Unify, USP, and TP-Link Amada, check out hostify.com, link in the description we have plans starting from $9 per month. So first things first, I've got my Unify network application open. It's running 9.5, uh, I think specifically 9.5.21, which was released in the past few days. Um, so as I said, you'll need a UXG online, and that's actually the only thing I've got on here. Uh, as I said, it is running 4.3.1. Previous version didn't have a lot of the support for content filtering. So to block a website, what you need to do is go down to settings here, and then to cyber secure and then to content filtering. What we're gonna do is block the bbc.co.uk website. So bbc, we do block bbc.co.uk. We're gonna do source is gonna be uh, all networks. We're gonna do a block list, so bbc.co.uk and add. And we're gonna say always. Before we do that though, we're gonna come up to here, refresh the page, and you can see I can actually access the website. I'm gonna do add, and it's gonna go through and set the UXG to provisioning, so it will get some updates from the Unify Network application. We'll go orange for a second, and we'll come back once that's done. So now that's finished, UXG is online. If we refresh the page, we can still access the bbc.co.uk website. Now, if you're doing this in a enterprise environment, you might not run into this problem, but if you have any people using Apple devices and they have the private relay enabled, then you might not have any blocking happening at all on the network. And that's because the DNS content filtering built into Unify Network is using simply that, it's using DNS. And when someone's got the private relay enabled, um, it uses a different DNS server essentially. So to test this, I'm gonna disable it on my laptop here. Click on details, disable limit IP address tracking, and that is just iCloud private relay. So if turn that off now, press okay. And as you can see, we can no longer access bbc.co.uk because the DNS requests are now being forwarded to the UXG and it is being told to block that website. Under content filtering, there's a lot more you can do. You can enable safe search, you can add block if you want to. You can do filtering, so you can block adult content. You can allow certain domains if you want to, and you can block uh, domains, and you can have a schedule set up for this completely as well. Uh, and you can do it on a per client basis, or you can do it for an entire VLAN if you want to. There's also a written version to this guide linked in the description down below if you would like to follow along without watching a video and with screenshots instead. So that's going to do it for this video. You can check out hostify.com in the description down below. Again, we've got plans for Unify, UISP and Amada cloud hosting starting at only $9 per month. My name's Alex, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again next time.